positive yes. two functions. Do y'all remember doing composite functions? Yes. When you input one function into another function. Yes. This notation looks like the word fog. I don't know if y'all have ever seen, have y'all ever seen this before? Yes. yes. I don't really love this notation, but our book uses it. You read it, F circle G of X. F circle G of X. It just means the one that is first, you write first. F with function G as the input. If you go the other way, golf, you read it, G circle F of X. And the three bars here mean it is defined to be Function G with function F as the input. G with, and there's a missing parenthesis if that bugs you. G with function F as the input. This, this diagram up here, we'll come back to it. Um, don't, don't get all hung up by that. So on this notation, we are given two functions. One of them is named function F. One of them is named function G. And we're asked to find f of g of f circle g of x. So this means the same thing as f with function g as the input. So the first thing we're going to do is take all of function g and write it as the input. That means f with 6x minus 5 dropped in. Are you okay? Some students get, get bogged down on the next part of it. And if, I, if you tend to be someone who needs a little extra help, let me get you to do this. Write in words the rule. Anytime you see x, I want you to think input. So the rule for function f is this. It says whatever the input is, do two times that input squared minus four times that input, and then add 7. Every time you see an X, think input. You okay, Kristen? Yeah, you can use the input. <laughs> well, it's just what are we dropping into the function? So if you see F of 6X minus 5, that means 6X minus 5 is the thing we're dropping into the function. Oh. I could even draw you a little picture. I could say, okay. here's... Here's function f, here's the, the f function machine, and you're dropping 6x minus 5 in. And you want to know what it's going to spit out for you. There, does that make it better? Yeah. So you'll do two times, if 6x minus 5 is your input, then you're going to do two times all of 6x minus 5 squared. Help me. What else? There you go. True or false? It's okay if I just distribute two first. <laughs> Remember we said you will never distribute into a parenthesis that is raised to a power because of the order of operation. So on y'all's page, I hope you're writing smaller, but um, I'm going to keep on going down. So the next thing we're going to have to do is two times 6x minus 5 times 6x minus 5. And then this sign in front of the number is part of the number, so we will distribute a negative 4 to get negative 24x, positive 20, plus 7. Sam, you okay? Yeah. Y'all kind of? Okay, hang with me. That means we're going to do 2 times, we've done this a ton, y'all can do this. First times first, maybe 6x squared. Outside times outside and inside times inside are going to combine. So what do we have? Negative 30x. Negative another negative 30x. We'll make it negative 60x. Last times last. Plus 25. And then if I distribute that 2, I'll have 72x squared minus 120x plus 50 minus 24x. And I'm going to go ahead and add those and say plus 27. Is that the best I can do? I could combine these because these are alike. I could combine these. These are alike. Here's my final conclusion. F circle G of X will equal 
72x squared minus 144x plus 77. of g of x. It means g becomes the input into function f. Can I erase this? Can I erase yet? circle f of x, it means the same thing as function g, you always write the one that comes first, first, with function f dropped in. Do I need to draw your picture, Kristen? No, I already got it done. Awesome. Yeah, I <laughs> so, if you do g with function f <coughs> dropped in, that means do g with all of this as the input. 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 is the input. Now, for some students, this is a really helpful step. We've got to know what rule G does. So, function G has a rule. Think input when you see an X. G says, whatever your input is, what are we going to do to it? Six times all of your input then subtract 5. So write it in words. Rule G says do 6 times all of the input and then subtract 5. So all of this stuff becomes the input. Because we're doing G of all of this as our input. Are you okay, Courtney? Mm -hmm. So that if I do 6 times all of this input, I will do 6 times all of 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. 6 times all of that, and then subtract 5. Or <coughs> distribute 6, 12x squared minus 24x plus 42 minus 5. Or 12x squared minus 24x plus 37. So our conclusion is up here at the top, g circle f of x equals 12x squared minus 24x plus 37. How's number 3 going to be different? There you go. So it's me and my That's it. That's it. F circle G of 2 really means we're going to do F with G of 2 dropped in. So it's so G. <coughs> so you do um, the G function times 2 and not times 2, but the G function with 2 dropped into oh, right. it. G re, G, with 2 replacing X. This notation means G with 2 replacing every X value. So, the first thing we're going to do on this one, step 1, is find G of 2. So that means you're going to go up here to your G rule. And every time G of 2 means do 6 times 2 minus 5. Or 12 minus 5. Or 7. Now what am I going to do with that 7? It becomes the replacement, right? So F of G of 2 is the same thing as asking you to do of 7. You okay? Oh, we were just saying
saying like on number one, if you like we have the answer, if we could just plug in two to that. That's good. A good observation. You could also do that. We'll talk about that in a second. So what is f of seven? That means every if you go up to function f, every time you see an x, you can replace it with seven. So f of seven means do two times seven squared <coughs> minus four times seven plus seven. Is it okay if I do two times seven first and then square it? No. Mm. So seven squared is forty-nine. That means do two times forty-nine. So that gives us 98 minus 28 plus 7, or 70 plus 7. Would y'all agree with me? So here's our conclusion. F circle G of 2 has a number value, 77. Now, this question came up. Kristen said this, and this was a good point. When we did number one up here, we got this. We said f of g of any number is 72x squared minus 144x plus 77. Another way you could come up with the same thing is, since we know f of g of any number equals this, what would I need to do? If I want to find f of g of 2, we could plug 2 into this equation. That would mean 72 times 2 squared minus 144 times 2 plus 77. 2 squared is 4. Somebody do 72 times 4. Minus 288 plus 77. What is 72 times 4? 288. So we get 288 minus 288 plus 77, guess where we landed? 77. Uh, <laughs> so you can work that problem two different ways. If you happen to have f of g of any number, if you have a rule for it, then you can plug into that rule. But you can also do g of 2 first, get that answer. Which one's easier? What do you think? If you already have number one done, then it might be just as easy to plug into that. But, okay, you can work on number four while I erase.
Every time you see an X, replace it with 37. So you'll do, somebody's going to have to punch this in your calculator. 2 times 37 squared minus 4 times 37 plus 7. Because I don't have 37 squared. 2,500. Is that times 2? Yes. Well, wait, that's no, all that's, 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 all the, that's all of that. That's all of this? Tell me what 37 squared is. 37 squared is 1,369. <laughs> so two times that is, tell me again. 2,738. And then four times 37. 148. Plus seven. What did you get? 2,597. We did. Yeah, we did. What y'all do? Oh, we just wrote everything out. You did f of f of x oh, first. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can do that. And you got to the same place, right? I mm -hmm. It just makes it look a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Will you stop that, Ashley?